Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Yusahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to install SKF Lite and we are going to create a database. So let's open our previous project. First thing first, to install SKF Lite, we need to go to PubSpec YAML and we need to install a new dependencies right here so we need to open our browser and we need to go to pub.dev slash package slash skf light so as we can see this is skf lights dependencies skf light is skf light plugin for flutter to install skf light to our project we need to press this installing to install skf light just copy this we back to our Flutter project and we paste right here. And then we press pub get. We can see process finish with exit code zero. It means that we have success. The next step is we need to install another dependencies. This pet provider. Like the before to install dependencies we need to press installing and we need to copy this and we back to our flutter project and paste below that press pub get again and we see process finish with exit code zero it means that we have successfully installed skf light and path provider so we close pubspec.yaml and the next step is we need to create a new directories inside lib directories right click on there new package and we name it as repositories and inside these directories we need to create a new dot file and we name it as database connection so we need to create a new class and we call it as database connection after that we need to import skf light the second one is path and the last is path provider so inside database connection class we need to create a new method we name it as set database and we make our method as asynchronous and inside this method we need to create a new variable we name it as directory and we make it as await and we call get application documents directory and below that we create a new variable again we name it as path and we call join and we say directory dot path and we name our database as db to do list skf light and below that we say database and we call await and open database and we call path and then version and the last is on create so outside this method we need to create another method we call it as on creating database and we assign or we give parameter database and we name it as database and then version and again we make this method as asynchronous so we say await and we call database and execute so we need to write sql syntax right here so look like this so we create tables we name it as categories and inside this table we want to create three column which is id name and description id our id is integer and then we set it as primary key another column is name and we set it as text and the last is description we set it as text again so right now we can call our method right here on creating database so the last but not least we haven't yet written something right here so below that we say return database 
So it means this method is method that we use to create a new database and to create a table inside our database. So right now we have created one table inside that and but we haven't yet insert any data to our table or to our database. So that's enough our video today. See you on the next video.